So I just did a family photo shoot here at Luther Burbank Park on Mercer Island. And we walked through the park and we took some pictures in the leaves and the trees, but like our main, like really juicy part of the photo shoot was down at the water. I love taking photos by the water. They always look so bright and airy and pastel, like really gorgeous because the light's coming off the water and then the background is glassy. It's like glossy water. So the background is smooth. And when photographing children, that's amazing because they're shorter than me. So if I look down at them, then they have nothing but water behind them and it just looks clean. It's like a backdrop. It's the beauty of portrait photography with a backdrop but it has the realness of being out in the world. So it's pretty rare that out in the natural world, you're gonna find a backdrop that's perfectly smooth as though you had a backdrop in a photography studio, right? Because normally when you're out in nature, your backdrops are more cluttered or busy, like trees and leaves. I mean, like, look at me right now. I've got all these stuff behind me, but if I lift the camera up, it gets simpler. Now I've got like a backdrop of cement and leaves or grass not the prettiest thing, but if what if I was standing by the water, then see how like smooth and glossy the water is back there? I'm far away from it, but imagine if I were up close, like everything behind me would just be smooth. So anytime I can photograph kids by water, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Some of my favorite pictures. Um, and you'll notice a lot of my favorite pictures are where the background's really simple because then the, the person who's in the center of the picture, the kid, the baby, whoever, it, they pop out, they shine because there's nothing distracting in the background. Okay, so we're down at Luther Burbank taking these amazing pictures by the water and then the kids climbed up onto a log and started jumping. And this was the most beautiful metaphor for parenting and childhood I could have asked for. And when it comes to family photography, I'm not just trying to take cute pictures of you guys. I am very intentionally, I've got my sentimental hat on or like my sentimental heart on. Like the part of me that's really romantic and uh, sees symbolism and metaphor is the part that takes the pictures. So um, the kids climb up on the log and they want to jump, but they're afraid, right? They're little, little kids. And their dad's there and he's like, I'll catch you, hold my hand. And they literally just do the like, barely fall off the log and he catches them and they're like having a thrill. And dad and I are looking at each other being like, I don't think they realize that they're not actually falling very far, <laughs> but they're having a good time. And we probably stood there for five, maybe even 10 minutes. And I took photos and videos the whole time from all different angles moving around. And at the beginning, they were afraid they were almost crying because they were balancing out at the edge of the wa of the wood and they felt shaky. And by the end, they were boldly standing up and fully jumping all the way to the ground without their dad's help. If anything, he was just like holding his hand out to like let them know he was there for them. And then at the end, he's just cheering for them. And we were saying, and we acknowledged it verbally. We we're like, that was a beautiful metaphor for how he's there for them until they don't need him anymore. And like, <laughs> it's also a motivational video for every adult human on the planet who needs like to visually see how humans gain confidence. These little kids needed to first crawl out onto the branch in fear and they needed to know they were gonna be okay and survive they had a helping hand and they got a little bigger and they tried a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger until they full on jumped off. And it's like funny to think that um, who they were at the beginning of that jump didn't have the guts to do it and who they were at the end did. So they transformed, they took a level up in life. Their confidence grew in themselves and in their father. So how beautiful, I get to photograph that. <laughs> And I don't always have a conversation after the shoots with the families. We don't always debrief and talk about the symbolism of the photos we just took. But the people who I really love working with, they appreciate that. They are thinking the same things. Um, I think when I started my business, a lot of the clients, I was charging lower prices. 
So a lot of the clients were just kind of in and out. Like we just need a few snapshots for our Christmas card. Let's get this over with. But as my business has grown and as my skill has grown, as my relationships with these people have grown, my prices have increased. I show up and give a whole lot more of myself, of my attention. Um, my creative energy is like a lot more poignant now. And that kind of comes from that level up of money, you know, like charging higher prices. It makes me take it more seriously because I'm like, shit, these people are like investing a lot of money to get photographed. I better do my best work. So then that plugs me in to this energy of what is my best work. And my best work is when I am, I'm fully present for an hour. I'm not thinking about anything else in life. I am just here like in the flow, in the zone, looking for the cute moments, waiting for when someone's gonna laugh, listening for little sentences um, that the kids speak and, and actively looking for symbolism because the families that are, are investing in photography with me obviously care, you know, you, you put your money where your mouth is, they obviously care about their family. They care about memories about uh, relationships, personality, about um, celebrating progress and growth, milestones in childhood. Like they care about human life and all that that goes into it. And to them, it's so precious. They see the symbolism in life. They're, they're seeing the big picture of like time's going by. Like I'm here for my kids as long as they need me. And then I'm they don't need me anymore. And I just got to cheer them on and be proud of them for what they've accomplished. Like parents who are thinking like that, hire me to do photos and videos of their families. Cause I think we sense in each other that we're on the same page. I'm not just taking a picture cause it's cute. I'm not taking a picture to make you guys look perfect. I'm taking a picture that to the best of my ability captures and wraps up all that stuff you're feeling the love and the joy for your kids, your desire to be present with them, the symbolism that you see, the stories that they want to remember. Got rocks in my shoe. <laughs> it's all there in family photography. Uh, you know, when I started doing family photography, I didn't think I was going to love it so much. I thought it was one of those like lamer types of photography that you just do to get a paycheck. Well, meanwhile, the real stuff you want to do is like the crazy cool fashion shoots, which I've done too. Um, it's a completely different, it's a completely different energy, a different goal, different challenge. So it's fulfilling in a different way. Um, <laughs> and uh, I think what, one thing that we've all, well, I can't speak for all of us, but many of us have come to appreciate more especially since COVID is health and family and um, I did notice a difference in my clients as uh, we started doing photo shoots again after the COVID quarantine that the families were showing up and they were more present and they were more excited just to be out at a park they were more uh, they were closer as a family and you know, maybe some of them have saved up some more money because they weren't going out as much. So though they were able to afford things like photo shoots. And now that the photo shoots are, it's a luxury, but it's also, um, kind of becomes a priceless treasure heirloom. That's why, that's why a lot of photographers use the word investment. You're investing in memories. You're investing in family time and, and, and things that will help your family feel close and photos can help people feel close. You know, if, if family lives far away, you can send them the photos and videos that we took and helps them feel closer. It helps them feel involved. If somebody passes away and you want to remember them, the photos and the videos help you feel close. The photos and videos we take help the kids feel closer to their parents as they grow up and they want to remember their childhood helps them remember who they are. When you see your, you know, when you see yourself as a child, you see photos of yourself playing or doing your thing. It kind of reminds you of like, oh yeah, that's who I was before I got stressed. That's who I was before I had responsibility. Those are the things I loved to do before the world told me who to be. Like childhood photos 
have the power to help adults reconnect with the core of the way they want to live their life. So like this is, there's so much power in it. And the beauty of it is that it's also so playful. Like you can go down into these meaningful depths of symbolism if you want to. I go down there. But you can also just be on the surface and be like, dude, that's a cute kid. That's a really cute kid. And family photography is great because you just get to photograph cute kids. They're not usually insecure or picky. They're just like, wow, that's a cool photo of me. I love it. Thanks. And they run away. <laughs> and you're like, that was easy. So it's a beautiful blend of easy and pure and uh, playful and deeply meaningful. So those are some reasons that I love family photography. And now my arm is dying, uh, getting tired, and my hand is freezing because it's wintry autumn in Seattle. Your hands will get cold if you have your if you have them out in the camera the whole time. So I recommend having nice jackets and ways you can keep your fingers warm as well. And now I'm walking back to my car and it's dark. Obviously we were taking pictures at sunset, which is the prettiest time. And this is one of my favorite parts of my life is driving home from photo shoots. I get to have this really rich time with a family. Like I said, it's pure, it's playful. It always lifts my mood. I'm smiling and playing for an hour. How can that not make you feel revitalized? And then I get to get in my car and calmly drive home and just, I feel so much more appreciative of life. And I get back to whatever I'm doing, which is usually some, like tonight is Taco Tuesday. All my friends are coming over. We're gonna have a big party. So it, the shifts in the energy are really fun. Um, I get all this energy of, of engaging with families and kids, but then I can step away from it and go have a completely different life in the evening. So I'm just very grateful for this work and um, the people I get to work with.